right for the remaining two pairs. It is now time for our head to head. Well, what about that? Congratulations, Chloe and Amy, Rachel and Graham. You are now one step closer to the final and a chance to play for our jackpot, which is currently standing at 3,250 times. When it's the head-to-head, -head, you can start playing as a pair. First pair to win two questions in this round will be going through to the final to play for that jackpot, but very well done. Then we've got Chloe and Amy, our, our old-timers, our veterans mm -hmm. from the last show. Yeah. Here they are, and Rachel and Graham, our newbies, just arrived. Fresh on the good ship, pointless. <laughs> but neither of you have been here before. I mean, Chloe and Amy, you haven't made it this far before. So uh, who knows? This is untested ground. Anything could happen. But best of luck to both pairs. Let's play the head-to-head. -head. Here is your first question. And the first question this afternoon is all about pineapples. <laughs> yeah, five clues to facts about pineapples. I didn't know there were five facts about pineapples. <laughs> yeah, we're about well, to find well, out. Well, okay, let's uh, let's find out what the five clues to pineapple facts are. We've got the name of the enzyme found in pineapple that contributes to the sore mouth feeling after eating. The name of the pineapple and ham pizza topping Sam Panopoulos is credited with inventing. Park in Stirlingshire that includes an 18th century folly in the shape of pineapple. The alcoholic spirit pineapple juice is usually mixed with to make a pina colada cocktail. And the French word for pineapple. I'll read those slightly better this time. The name of the enzyme found in pineapple that contributes to the sore mouth feeling after eating. The name of the pineapple and ham pizza topping Sam Panopoulos is credited with inventing. Park in Stirlingshire that includes an 18th century folly in the shape of a pineapple. The alcoholic spirit pineapple juice is usually mixed with to make a pina colada cocktail. And the French word for pineapple. There we are. Chloe and Amy, you're our low scorers at this point, so you get to go first. Um, so we're going to go for the enzyme, and we're going to go for catalase. Catalase, oh, they're good. Catalase, I'm assuming it's right. Catalase. Uh, catalase, say, right. Chloe and Amy. Now then, Rachel and Graham, the board is yours. Should, should yeah, you go. Do you want to talk through it? Um, the second one is uh, Hawaiian, I think. I don't know three or four, so I'd probably pump for the fifth one, I think. Uh, I think we'll go for uh, ananas. 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 So we have catalase and we have ananas. Uh, Chloe and Amy went for catalase, the enzyme. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said it. Oh, oh, no! oh bad luck. Catalase. Oh, it sounded so good. Catalase. Okay, well, no, not catalase, apparently. Um, Rachel and Graham, you have gone for ananas. That's all you have to be with this is correct, and you'll win the point. It is correct, and you win the point. Well done. <laughs> ananas. That's a good answer. Well, 18. Very well done. That means Rachel and Graham, after one question, you're up 1 0. Yeah, you do know your enzymes. Catalase is in pineapple, but it's not the enzyme that's responsible for this. Um, no. If only you hadn't been studying it for the last seven or eight years, you'd have been. <laughs> it's bromelain is the uh, is the answer. So there it is. And bromelain would have scored you four points. Um, the pineapple and ham pizza topping is the Hawaiian. That would have scored you 62 points. The park in Stirlingshire is a pointless answer. Well done if you said Dunmore Park. Dunmore Park. Uh, and the alcoholic spirit you would mix it with rum. rum is absolutely right. Would have scored 37. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. OK, here comes your second question. Now then, Chloe and Amy, you have to win this one to stay in the game. Oh, no. And Rachel and Greg get to answer it first, so good luck. Uh, our second question is all about deep sea creatures. I'm going to show you five pictures now of animals that are found at least 200 metres below the surface of the sea. Uh, can you tell us what they are, please? We're going to give you alternate letters of their names. Thank you very much indeed. Let's reveal our five deep sea creatures, and here they come. We've got A, G, L, E, E, L. B, J, P, N, S, S, I, E, C, A. C, G, E, T, W, I, E, S, A, K. D, S-E-M-W-A-E. 
and E, N U I U. There we are. Okay, Rachel and Graham will go first. And Greb, so Chloe and Amy, chance for you to come back here. Talk us through that board if you can. So I think A is golden eel, C great white shark, D sperm whale, and E is nautilus. nautilus. Yeah? Yeah, nautilus. Yeah, so I think we're going to go for <laughs> E, <laughs> nautilus. Okay, e, right. nautilus. Say so Chloe and Amy. So we have Japanese spider crab and nautilus. Uh, Rachel and Graham have gone for Japanese spider crab. Let's see if that's right for B. Let's see how many people said it. It's right. Oh, that's good. It's very well done. 13 for the Japanese spider trap. <laughs> Chloe and Amy, meanwhile, have gone for Nautilus for E. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Nautilus. It's right. 13 is what it's got to be. Ten, oh, the 16th Nautilus! Oh, 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 oh. oh, Chloe and Amy, I'm so sorry, but very well done indeed. Rachel and Graham, after only two questions, you are straight through to the final 2 0. Yeah, well played too, but I say I'm genuinely amazed that Nautilus didn't go uh, beneath Japanese spider crab. It looked much harder to me. Yeah. Um, let's deal with C and D first. They're both big scorers. Uh, not as big as you think, actually. Great white shark there. Would we'll have scored you 77. You'd think with those letters it might score a bit more than that, and Sperm Whale would have scored you 67. Now the first one, we always say that if you don't know it, you can fill it in with words from the English language. We know it's an eel, we can see the colour that it is, um, so you would assume it's a golden eel, but it's not a golden eel, so on this one occasion it wouldn't have helped you. It's a gulper eel, and one of our 100 people knew that, so very well done to that one of our 100 people, the gulper eel. I'm so glad we don't live 200 metres under the sea. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. So the pair leaving us at the end of the head-to-head -head round. Oh. I'm so sorry, Chloe and Amy. You were so unlucky in that round. You, you even yeah. came up with a lovely enzyme that's in pineapple. Um, well, listen, it's been wonderful having you on the show. And you have covered yourselves in glory. I'm sorry you're not leaving, holding the, uh, the trophy up high. But uh, it's been a great pleasure having you here. Thanks so much, Chloe and Amy. <laughs> Congratulations, Rachel and Graham. You've seen off all the competition and you have won our coveted pointless trophy. You now have a chance to win our pointless jackpot. And at the end of today's show, the jackpot is standing at £3,250. <laughs> I, th I think you've come through smiling, haven't you? We've given you shared words missing from songs. We've given you famous Northeasterners. We've given you pineapple facts. <laughs> yes. And deep sea creatures. I'm struggling to think of any area of the world we haven't tested you on. Um, is there anything you can think of that you'd like to see come up in this last round? Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so anything on Star Wars, um, American sports teams, possibly. You've been jamming those yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, for me, probably Harry Potter, Taylor Swift lyrics. I've not seen that one come up before. No, no. Okay, well, let's hope something on this board roughly fits into one of those sorts of categories. Let's have a look. Today's choices read like this. Good entertainment, fashion, world golf, Royal Georges. Blimey. Well, I think we can count golf out of yes, um, definitely. Possibly Royal George's, George's as well. Yes. Fashion, despite the shirt, no, not me. Really. No. So, um, take a point. Yeah. Good entertainment, please. Good entertainment. Okay, looking for any of the following, please. We're looking for anyone who's appeared in five or more episodes of the US series uh, The Good Wife from 2009 to 16. 
any of the cast of the film Good Will Hunting from 1997, or any word of five or more letters in the Beach Boys song Good Vibrations, please. So five or more episodes of The Good Wife and the cast of Good Will Hunting, both according to IMDb, and words of five letters or more in Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. Very best of luck. Thank you very much. Now, as always, you've got up to one minute to come up with three answers, and all you need to win that jackpot is for just one of those three answers to be pointless. You don't have to answer all three categories. Spread your answers across the ones you like. Are you ready? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's put 60 seconds up on the clock, and there they are. Your time starts now. Who's the uh, Josh? Who's in our Jenna Muggles? Yes. Love interest. And who's Mel Streep's daughter? Hold it. Uh, I don't know if her name. Um, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox is in it. Alan Cummings. Alan Cummings. Oh. Um, oh, uh, Peter. Who plays Peter? Oh, uh, North. Someone North. Chris. Chris North. North. Yes. Um, I can't remember the little lady that plays Cleaning. Archie. Archie. Something. <laughs> uh, Punch on. No. Pacham? No. Uh, oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that is annoying. Should be third um, one. Um, ten seconds. I can't remember the Meryl Street's daughter's name. Oh, who played the comedian in The Watchmen? He's in it as well. Oh, um, I can't remember his name. Josh Charles, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that is your time up, I'm afraid. I now need your three answers. Uh, we'll go for uh, Josh Charles. Uh, did oh, you say which category? Cast oh, sorry, all cast the good wife. Sorry. Okay. So, what have we got? We've got Josh Charles. Josh Charles. Christopher Knopf. Yeah, Chris Knopf. Chris Knopf. Um, and Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. And Michael J. Fox. Okay. Of those three, which is your best shot at a pointless answer? Do you think? Christopher Knopf. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go Christopher Knopf. Who put last? Least likely to be pointless. Josh Charles. Josh Charles. Michael J. Fox goes in the middle. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's put those answers up on the board in that order then. And here they are. We have got Josh Charles, Michael J. Fox, and Chris Knopf. Well, you've come up with three good answers there. Any one of those might be pointless and might win that jackpot for you. £3,250, a decent jackpot to be taking home. What would you like to do with that? Rachel, come to you first. Um, well, Gwen has already picked out an extensive array of dolls that we all need to buy if we win. Um, but we also want to go on holiday to Orlando next year, so it would go towards that. Okay, there's an extensive array of dolls. Dolls, yes, she's obsessed with ah, dolls right. of every description. I see, right, okay. How many, do, will you limit the doll collection at Not all? Not so far, no, no, no. Okay. no. no because we are ineffective. <laughs> there we are. Um, Graham, how about you, anything else you want to... No, 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 I'll, I'll go with that. Um, like a holiday in, in Orlando would be nice. Dolls in Orlando, okay, perfect. Well, very, very best of luck. Three good answers, as we say. Now, your first one is Josh Charles. In all three cases, we are looking for cast members of The Good Wife. Let us find out if Josh Charles is right and pointless. If Josh Charles is both of those things, you leave here with £3,250. It's right. Josh Charles now merely has to be pointless for you to win that jackpot, £3,250. Down we go through the teens into single figures. Yes, still going down, still going down. You have done it. Well done, indeed. Well done. Congratulations, Josh Charles was a pointless answer, which means you go home with that jackpot of £3,250. Well, that, that turned out very nice indeed. Really uh, I've never seen The Good Wife. I hear it's amazing. It's it is fantastic. Very it's now the time to say that we own all the box sets. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It is. And now's the time to say it's really, really fantastic. Just want your fortune. Um, a couple of the other answers you came up with. Mamie Gummer is Meryl Streep's uh, ah, daughter. She okay. was a pointless answer as well. Michael J. Fox was a pointless answer. So well done there. Chris Noth would have scored you one point. Aww. So <laughs> blotted the copybook there. And Liam, <laughs> Alan Cumming, you thought of, he would have scored you one point as well. Archie Punjabi was the uh, name you're looking for. Would have scored one point also. Um, let's take a look at some more pointless answers though. Some famous names up here. David Hyde Pierce, much more 
famous for Fraser, perhaps was a point of science at Dylan Baker. There's Michael J. Fox, Stockard Channing, also a point of science at everyone pointers apart from Juliana Margulies, Chris North, Christine Baranski, Alan Cumming, and Archie Punjabi. Every single other person who's been in five or more episodes was a point of science. So well done if you got one. Uh, shall we take a little look at the cast of Goodwill Hunting? There's a few pointless answers there. In fact, everyone was a pointless answer apart from Matt Damon, Robin Williams, Ben Affleck, Mini Driver, Stellan Skarsgård, and Casey Affleck. Every other member of that cast was a pointless answer. And was there five letters or more in Good Vibrations, which uh, you didn't worry about at all at any point in that 60 seconds? Quite right. Uh, you could have had the following. Loving Sunlight Sensation. Perfume, you could have blossom closer, gentle lifts, plays, sends, smile softly, somehow, there, through, and where. Very well done if you got a point of answer on that category. Terrific work in the studio, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks very much indeed, Richard, and thanks once again to our winning players, Rachel and Graham, who go away with today's jackpot of £3,250. Very well done. Join us next time, I will be putting more obscure knowledge to the test on Pointless. Meanwhile, it's goodbye from Richard, goodbye, and it's goodbye from me, goodbye.